Kurobosongo Goi Kamoja Na Kurosugusu Goi Kairia Amoneze Engima Ano Ka Okonyora Amangana Amaya Ayawene Kurua Abagusi Global Radio Engata Ya Mwanya Gitinge Dega Amato Tukumanyi Hujambo mpenzi mtazamaji wa AGR Malpopote Ulipo Ni wakiti mwingine tunakulete habari kwa kiu kamilifu na haja ni baadhi ya yale tumekuandalia siku ya leo Tunakuomba ulifunje bunge la kitaifa haraka rais Kenyata Aombwa Vijana wa changamukia kazi mutani kisi Hatutatumika tena na wanasiasa wanaboda boda wa pakisi Hujambo na karibu Jina langu ni Zadok Dennis. Baada ya jaji mkuu David Maraga kumshauri Rais Kenyatta kulifunja bunge la kitaifa baada ya bunge hilo kushindwa kutekeleza wajibu huo wa kikatiba, sasa wawakilishi wote katika kaunti ya Uasinikishu wameomba Rais Kenyatta kuharakisha umbi hilo huku wakisema bunge hilo limeshindwa kutekeleza kanuni ya uwakilishi wa theluthi mbili. Lazima ndaongea kimombo kidogo. Uh, what Maraga did yesterday uh, in fact uh, article 261 uh, sub article uh, 7 which is very clear that uh, <coughs> the the chief justice shall advise the president to dissolve parliament and the president shall dissolve parliament that is a must so there is no there is no shortcut to following the constitutionality it's now the the president to dissolve parliament and what the input of that is that uh, even if Uh, the dissol dissolution of parliament is going to be delayed there is from now on there is no action uh, that parliament can take that is constitutional everything will, uh, will 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 be illegal and as such the biggest input in terms of political uh, dispensation and the, the political arithmetic in kenya is that the issue of the pbi is dead on arrival so, and that is why we are saying uh, corona stop the reggae and uh, maraga bared wana boda boda mjini kisi wame hapa kutotumika tena na wana siyasa ili kujinufaisha kisiasa wakizumuza na kituo hiki moja kwa moja wana boda boda hao walisema wamekua kwa kidanganywa kwa muda mrefu edwin mukaya anatathimia kwa kina Ni siku chache tu baada ya naibu wa rais William Ruto alipozuru eneo la Kisi kwa minajili ya kutoa mchango wake alimradi kwa uni wendesha pikipiki na makundi anwai ya kina mama Baadhi ya wana boda boda hao katika mji wa Kisi walizua vujo huku wakifunga barabara kabla ya naibu wa rais William Ruto kufika mjini Onyesho dhahiri kuwa hawakutaka naibu wa rais huyo kuingia katika mji huo wa Kisi. Hata hivyo baadhi ya wanaboda boda hao wamesema kuwa wamefunguka macho na hawawezi kutumiwa tena na sehemu ya wanasiasa ili kujinufaisha wenyewe. Eh Samarieta Ngorogu Geoffrey Sisa. Mimi kama mwanaboda boda hakika hao watu wanatutumia vibaya sana lakini by now wana boda boda si kama wale wa kitambo saa hii sisi tumejua nini tunafaa kufanya kama utakuja wewe unataka support kutoka kwa wana boda boda lazima upite kwa meza tuketi chini tuweke mkataba hili unapo tunapokupitisha pia wewe tunakuja na hii kitu yenye tumeandika kama agreement utufanyie hiyo kenye tulisema na kama uwezi tufanyia sisi tuko na evidence so nyinyi ambao mmependa kutumia watu vibaya raundi hii hamuna bahati La... nasema ni kweli kwamba wanaboda boda wanatumiwa vibaya kwa sababu ya ukosefu mtu akikuahidi elfu moja naona kwamba nitafaidi kumbe unaenda kwa kutumiwa vibaya kwa njia hiyo naomba wanaboda boda wasimame kwa ile kidogo wako nayo wasikubali kutumiwa na wanasiasa kwa sababu wanasiasa wanajitakia makuu wakikuwaja ukiangamia wanasiasa pia wameulizwa kukoma kuwatumia vijana vibaya na kuhakikisha kuwa hakuna vurugu tena nchini huku vijana vile vile wakiulizwa pia kujitegemea na kutotumikwa ovyo ovyo na wanasiasa hao um, Ivan Sobure 
I come from uh, Nyaribari Church constituency. I'm a taxi driver, Kisi Town pickup, pickups, and that's my work. So my only advice, my only advice is that we as young youths, we should not be used by other people who have money to destroy our lives. But instead, we should use that chance to get the money and save our families. In other words, politicians should come second to us. I would like to urge them. Using us, it doesn't look a good picture. I would like us to be, as youth, to be used in a better manner, in a better way which can embrace Kenyans, in a better way which can build Kenya. Even Kenyans have the light to go where he wants, to, give, to, to sell out these policies as Kenya would appreciate. So I, I don't see any big deal when I hear someone is coming, oh, someone is coming. I would like to, like to welcome them all. EGR kutoka county ya kisee, jina langu ni Edwin Mokaya. Baada ya serikali kuu kuanzisha kazi mtaani katika maeneo mbalimbali humu nchini kusaidia vijana kujiendeleza kimaisha baadhi ya vijana hao katika kaunti ya Kisi wameunga mkono serikali kuu katika kuwatafutia mbinu ya kuwasaidia. My name is Idu Kamanda from Nyaribari Masaba constituency. I'm staying at the township Kisi town. Uh, I'm a student doing building and construction. Nita Narobi. Uh, but the first thing, let me thank you, thank the president and the uh, uh, minister for interior and cabinet, interior, coordinator and national government, Dr. Fred Matiang, for supporting young people for this Kazimutan program. First three, we are, it has helped us so much to sustain ourselves. Uh, another thing, let me thank our His Excellency Governor James Ongwai and the Senator Professor Monger to ensure that our young people are empowered through Kasimutani. Uh, the other thing I will tell my very, my, my very young people who didn't qualify for this job that uh, tomorrow they will get. Let them continue working any kind of job in order to get what they, they are getting. Baada ya soko la daraja mbili mjini Kisii kujengwa ili kuwasaidia wafanyabiashara kuboresha biashara zao, baadhi yao wameshukuru serikali kwa ujenzi huo huku wengine wakiwa na malalamishi. Videli Mochoge kwa mengi zaidi. Ni takriban miezi mitatu baada ya kufunguliwa rasmi kwa soko la daraja mbili ambalo lilijengwa kwa ushirikiano na serikali ya kaunti ya Kisi huku serikali kuu ikiingilia kati. Jumba hili lililoanza kutumika takriban miezi tatu iliyopita linasemekana kutumika na wafanya biashara ambao wanashughulika na vyakula katika soko hili la daraja mbili. Jumba hili ambalo lilijengwa kwa ushirikiano wa kaunti ya Kisi na serikali kuu linalo rova tatu huku horofa ya kwanza ikiwa inashughulika kwa ukaribu sana na wale wafanyabiashara ambao wanauza nyanya, vitunguu na vyakula vingine. Horofa ya pili ikishughulika na wale wafanyabiashara ambao wanauza vyakula kama vile viazi vyote vikiwa viazi tamu na zile viazi vingine. Horofa ya tatu ni wale wafanyabiashara ambao wanashughulika na mboga kama vile wale wanauza omena na vyakula vingine vingi ikiwemo kunalo mkahawa katika Jumba hili la olofa ya tatu Nilipo jitoza na kujumuika na baadhi ya wauzaji wanaovanya biashara katika jumba hili chipya Asa wale ambao wanashulika na vyakula katika soko hili walikuwa na haya ya kunena Kwa majina ya naitu wa Gladys Kemuma Hakini tuko hapa nani Hakuna kunyeshewa Faita ndi hakuna Faita ya nyatuna ni hile kwa barabati kwa tunakimbisa kwa barabara kwa magari tunapata watu wananunua lakini hapa tunakaa tu tunaongozea wengine wako nje kwa barabara wanausa sasa kitu nasema e, maneno tunayopitia kwa hii soko mpya sasa e, hakuna makastoma pale penye tunakaa 
kama hii ground floor shida ni baridi na kama customer hakuna lakini kwa barabara tulikuwa tunapata pesa na uzuri tumeona ni viratuniashewi na vitu yetu ilikuwa inaenda na maji na sombwa na maji lakini saa hii so, uh, hakuna kusombwa sisi tunataka tuo yani saa zile si, wi soko vile ilifunguliwa sisi tunapenda tu tukae hapa tunauza vizuri tunafanya biashara vizuri mimi nashukuru ongwae wa kutukweka kwa hii nyumba maana atunyeshewe wala atu 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 atukui na chua tuteseke lakini kile naomba akituone atuongezee hata kitu kitoka maana tumefirisika hatuna pesa atuusi wala hatuna njia ya kupata pesa sina langu ni mera nike mtu kwa majina naitu Olfa Nyangate mi hapa ndani mali walituleta atuuzi kabisa Lija ya wafanyabiashara hawa kulimbikizia sifa sufufu serikali ya kaunti ya Kisi baadhi ya wafanyabiashara hawa wanasema kwamba wanapitia changamoto mingi ndani ya jumba hili chipya ikiwemo ukosefu wa wateja huku wakisema kwamba wauzaji wengine wanatoweka huku ndani na kuenda kuuzia vyakula vyao huko nje likiwa tatizo kuu ambalo wamekoza wateja katika jumba hili Sasa kitu naomba serikali Itoe watu wote wa wanyanya njiani watoe wa mboga kama serious wakucha hapa ndani kila mtu akae hapa ndani na watu watangazie wajue wote soko ni hapa ndani sasa wengine wakitembea nje na sisi tukiuza hapa ndani ni kama wanje tunaenda hasara kama wanatuonea huruma wenye wako nje pia watolewe huko hapa ndani watu wote wanyanya kwa usi hapa ndani nilipozuru holova la tatu na kutangamana na wale wanaofanya biashara ya kuuza omena walikuwa na haya ya kusema huku wengine wakisema kwamba wanaomba serikali ya kaunti kuwaruhusu kufanya biashara zao wakiwa huru bila kuzumbuliwa na maviza wa serikali ya kaunti ya kisi majina anaitwa simioni wankuru kutoka isibania ni mkaji wa kisi taraja mbili karibu miaka 4 lakini tangu corona ianze biashara imekuwa mbaya tangu kuwekwa ile chengo ambalo limechengwa hapa taraja mbili tumeingizwa huko lakini katika kuingizwa huko vya tumeingizwa biashara imekuwa mbaya jina ni Lucas Wankuru mimi nimetoka Kikuria nimekuja hapa daraja mbili nimekuja kujitafutia riziki sasa shida ya niko nayo hapa nimefinyiriwa sana tuachiliwe tufanye kazi kama vijana maana kuna wengine ambao tu kupatika kusoma kupewa elimu ya kusoma ya kuachiliwa lakini sasa tu Mungu akatufungulia njia tukafanyeje tukajiajiri wenyewe sasa sina uhuru sasa kama daraja mbili najua ni soko na ambayo najivunia kabisa kabisa ni soko najivunia nimejiajiri kama kijana sana nimetafuta nimetafuta najaribu kutafuta ili nisungwe mwana wafanyabiashara hawa wanashukuru serikali ya kaunti ya Kisi kwa kuwashughulikia na kuwajengea jumba hili ambalo wanatumika kwa kufanya biashara zao hasa wale ambao wanashughulika na vyakula katika soko hili kuu la kaunti ya Kisi ambalo linachulikana kama daraja mbili lakini je wameridhika na soko hili kwa sasa, kwa sasa hapa ninafinyiliwa sana sasa hivi hata nikitoka nje nimekuwa sina uhuru sana. Nitoke tu nje nimekuwa kama maabusu. Nikitoka tu nje napigwa fine F20, F10. Sasa nashindwa nifanye nini? Sina uhuru kabisa katika hii soko ndani kwa hii jengo. Yaani tumefinyiliwa sana. Yaani sasa tumekuwa kama sisi kama yani sisi nitamaliza corona hii. Sasa sisi kwa ombi letu kama wafanyabiashara sisi kama mimi kama kijana na wengine ambao wanajishughulisha kama mimi. Mimi ningependa serikali tusaidie tuachiliwe tufanye kazi kama vijana maana kuna wengine ambao tu kupatika kusoma kupewa elimu ya kusoma ya kuachiliwa lakini sasa tu Mungu akatufungulia njia tukafanyeje tukajiajiri wenyewe mimi ombi langu kwa serikali ningesema serikali serikali ituachilie sisi vijana tufanye kazi mimi ni singomata siwezi risha watoto wangu na nyanya peke yake mimi nataka siku yenye si ya soko watu wachange tutokanga at least nje na kuna baridi hapa ndani tutoke nje huko mahali kuna joto kidogo at least na sisi tusikae wagonjo na turuhusiwe tuuze kitu chochote chenye zinaweza rutulisha watoto wetu jina jina ni delfin moige nyanchera nikiripotia runinga ya AGR kutoka county ya kisi mimi ni fidelis omingo mochoge Now.
habari za spoti ni vibunde na videlis mchoge. Asante sana mwenzangu Zado kwa kunipa fursa hii ili kuwajuza wa watazamaji yale ambayo yanajili katika ulimwengu wa sport chini yangu ni Fidel Omo Showgame. Wakati hii wachezaji pia mashabiki nchini Kenya wanazazimia Wizara ya Michezo kufungua rasmi mchezo nchini Kenya klabu ya Liverpool inaendelea kungaa pia kuongoza katika ligi ya Uingereza baada ya kuachapa mabao mawili kwa sifuri a timu ya wanachelsea a siku ya Jumapili. Hadi wakati mwingine jina ni Fidels o Mochoge. Kufikia hapo mpenzi mtazamaji mahali popote ulipo wa AGR ndipo tunahitimisha habari zetu katika siku ya leo. Hadi hapo kesho. Jina langu ni Zadok Dennis. Ayu naro amaya atekire ntoke andere huko manya amange kurwa AGR engeumbu yomuguzi